this is a case of a biconeoid uterus this was a right horn you can see i can demonstrate this right horn by showing you here this is a right horn and then we are just going on the left side we did a um, her two embryo transfer on a left horn because left horn was well developed unfortunately both the embryos got installed if one can notice the myometrium on the horn is so thin it's hardly four millimeter i again can demonstrate you this is a sac and this is a serosal surface which is just five millimeter so this was a very risky and that's why we are doing a embryo reduction you can now notice there is a live fetus i'm just making a magnification so you can make out and this is a fetus which is live the, this patient was given a methotrexate methotrexate has stopped the cardiac activity about the down one fetus so if you see it's beautifully this is a fundus of a left horn this is the pregnancy which has enriched into the myometrium with the live cardiac activity and this is a second which has stopped with the methotrexate this is the horn and this is the other sided horn you can make out very clearly it was a bicornuate uterus so now unfortunately because it is so thin between the myometrium the serosal surface there is no much space it has invaded there is so much thinning you can see now almost gestational sac and the myomere serosal surface is in one line so what i am doing is very gently i am going to go into this transvaginal sonography and i am entering into the fetus and i will just aspirate can you see that either you can deposit the kcl i don't want to deposit anything because i don't want to increase the intrasac pressure and i'll just gently i will usually this is how i do the embryo reduction i aspirate i aspirate the fetal tissue aspirate very gently you aspirate because it is not only the fetal tissue but the amniotic fluid also got aspirated out take the video of this yeah yeah continuation you can see she has put up go back now this is a sac which was completely aspirated and i am coming out along with the fetal tissue stop the video so you can see now this is the sac which i don't want it because it will get disturbed and this is a sac which is completely collapsed do you think you can go and do this i don't need a rest of the tissue this is a sac which has completely gone it was at the myometrium here and this is the another sac and i'm showing you this was a another so if i go for a this was her uterus with the two horns right side has a sac left side sorry has a sac and the right side is the cavity and this is the baby which with the methotrexate it has gone and completely it has been taken out thank you this is the tiny fetal tissue which we aspirated and this was a amniotic fluid which we got aspirated out so this is the needle which i use for a embryo reduction it's a simple long needle and you can see this is the fetal tissue 
which got aspirated out along with some because we directly enter into the baby's heart thank you